245. Hey there, Jay Don. What's up, Real Athletics? Want to join us for a quick walk around the Monaco track? Of course. Jay Don, you've been crushing it so far this year. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. I'm super excited to be here. Just happy, like, you know, 18 year old living the triple jump dream. You're a triple jumper. Right. How and when did you start in the event? I started three years ago in 2020, I think. Yeah, and it was one day when I was at training and I saw this dude doing triple jump. I was like, okay, this seems fun, so let me try it. And I went over to the coach, Jeremy Delita, and he started working with me and here I am now. Can you talk us through the different faces of a triple jump? Okay, um, for me, of course, you have the hop, the step, and the jump, but for me, it's more than the hop and step and jump. If I don't get the, the run-up aspect of it, like the approach part of it correctly, then the hop, step, and jump will be messed up. So it's just correctly running on the runway and taking off, hopping, stepping, and jumping into the pit. What's been your favorite competition so far in your career? It got to be the World Under-20 Championships in Nairobi. My first time jumping a legal 17 meters and we're going through so much pain into that meet. It was just super exciting to see that I came out with a victory and it's a massive, massive personal best and championship record. What's a track where you'd love to compete? The Monaco, the one right here. Did you always dream of becoming an athlete? Yeah, from I was, I think three years old, four years old, around there. I wanted to be the next Usain Bolt, but <laughs> I guess I'll be the next Pedro Pichardo or Will Clay or somebody of that sort. And what would happen with you if you weren't to be an athlete? I'd probably be this very studious uh, student, <laughs> I guess. But I like content creating, so I'd probably be a content creator given tripod and everything. What's your main activity when you're not training? Uh, watching TikToks, definitely TikTok. And Netflix. So Netflix. Yeah. Are you currently binging any shows? Young Sheldon, that you know that little dude. Always seems so smart. Uh, yeah, Young Sheldon for sure. Who can always make you laugh? Tara Davis, my teammate, of course. Tara, yeah, Tara, Tara, and Kareem, my friend from Jamaica, Kareem too. And who's your biggest fan? <sighs> Will Clay, definitely Will Clay. His poise and his energy, everything. Will Clay forever. Do you have a typical or do you like a typical music, music genre? Mm. Well, for competition and when I'm stressed, I usually listen gospel. But Burner Boy, Afrobeats, that type of guy. That gets you going for a mm -hmm. competition. Yeah. Mm. Nice. You're still only 18. Right. How do you celebrate that last birthday? It's a milestone. <laughs> well, I went to, to this place um, in Arkansas. I forgot the name, but I went out with um, some of my teammates and we just ate and had fun, you know, cut the birthday cake and just enjoy myself. We've heard rumors about strong cooking skills on your side. Is that true? Yeah, I, I think I can cook. I, I can cook really well. The Jamaican style, for sure. Do you enjoy it, cooking? Mm -hmm. most, most definitely, yeah. Um, Sometimes I do it every day. I'm kind of tired sometimes in the days, given practice, but I do it predominantly like twice a week. What's your signature dish if you have to prepare something? Anything curry. Curry chicken, curry anything, just curry. <laughs> have you been cooking for famous athletes? No, I haven't gotten the chance to. Um, this time of the season, pure training. Like Sometimes I haven't gotten time to cook for myself. <laughs> Is it something that you might want to pick up at some, some point, is to become a chef? Maybe when I retire from hop, step, jumping, I'll try a little chef thingy. What's one food that you can't live without? Uh, oxtails. I can't live without oxtails. Never. What's the biggest difference between the Jamaican kitchen and the one you have when you're in Arkansas in the US? It's mostly the spices because the chicken is, chicken is the same, you know. Oxtail is the same, just the spices. I think the Jamaican um, spices are kicking a bit more, you know? And that's what I'm used to, so I usually get them shipped to me. Yeah. Apparently you're also quite into fashion. What's your, what's your style when you're not on the track? Well, I'm a 
a swaggy type of cargo cargo pants, oversized tee, puma shoe, you know, that type of guy. Do you enjoy dressing up? Mm-hmm, like, you dress up with, um, very well to feel, you know, feel good. Okay, back to triple jump and the sport right. now. Who do you look up to in the sport? As I said before, Will Clay, um, I like his energy, like when he jumps. Yeah, most definitely Will Clay. I'm Pichardo too, Pichardo's humbleness and I think I'm a very humble athlete too, but I'll say both of them, yeah. Have you got a hero outside the sport? <whistles> my mom and my dad, of course. Yeah, always there for me. Who's your favorite Jamaican athlete? My favorite Jamaican athlete, that's a tricky one. But I would say, Rashid Broadbell and Sherika Jackson, most definitely. If you could steal one skill from another athlete, what would it be? To her, I always think that I can do a little, you know? <laughs> I always think that I can hurdle, but yeah, I would steal that from Broadbell. He's such, a, such an amazing hurdler. He's quick, like, mm, mm, you know? How do you typically prepare for a meet? Oh, that's tricky. I usually prepare it on the day. <laughs> but um, of course, you keep the focus. You get that recovery in before the meet. Um, not really much. I always eat well, sleep well. So it's just to go out and have fun as usual. Nothing different from training, just the crowd and other stuff. Let's do a quick fire round. Instagram or TikTok? Instagram. Usain Bolt or Shelly Ann Fraser Price? Usain Bolt. Track or field? Field, baby. <laughs> world under 20 gold or world under 20 record? World under 20 record. Olympic gold or world record? World record. When do we see an 18 meters happen? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe soon, maybe at world chance. I don't know. Who when, knows? when you jumped 1787, you said that it still had to sink in. Has that happened already? Yeah, it kind of sink, um, sunk in. Everybody's be like, Oh, it's Hibi, it's a world under 20 triple jump record holder, it's, it's Jaden. Um, so it kind of got, gotten used to it right now. Yeah. I'm going to quote someone. A fantastic young man, very coachable, humble, excited and happy. Who am I describing? My coach, Coach Travis. Exactly. <laughs> How important is he for you? He's, he's like a father figure. He's out, he always checks up on me on the personal level more than on the athletic level, firstly. Truly, I'm um, grateful for him. He's a phenomenal coach. Conceptualizes everything really well, and I love Coach G. Is it true that you show up to every academic meeting and practice? Yes, everything. If I don't, I, I feel guilty about it, I think, you know? What's a hidden talent of yours? <sighs> well, I can sing just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> can you sing for us? Not on the camera. No, I, I'm a bit shy. <laughs> how, do you, how do your friends describe you as a person? Yeah, I'm a light in the mood, light in the room type of guy. I always come with a bright smile, crack a few jokes. You know, just be that friendly person to everybody. Yeah. What's your biggest goal in your career? Just to be somebody where the younger jumpers specifically can look up to, you know, and to be that person where they can run to it, be, be like, okay, I can ask Hibi about this, I can ask Jaden about this, you know? Not specifically being this 19 meter jumper, but just somebody who somebody else can look up to, you know? Yeah. Nice. Before we leave, tell us one more thing we should know about you. And I'm very humble. You can come to me with anything. I answer every DM. Um, you know, Hibi, like, nothing to it. Thanks for the track chat, Hibby. All right. Thank you, World Athletics.